talking about this community where we are, it was actually one of the poorest land areas agriculturally. The land was so poor that they could not crop even any cereal. They could only manage with legume. And because of the poverty of the soil, many of their youth migrated out of the area to down south for better livelihood. TSP broadened my mind in my program, uh, program planning. You know, it made me to understand that, you know, that in planning, you just don't look at short term. You have to look into the future. When I came back and we were to plan our action plan for the district, so I had to invite uh, key stakeholders outside who were also engaged in climate change activities to assist us in the planning to come out with a program or an action plan that will really address the, the climate change activities. They all agreed and came out with bylaws which we have compiled and a copy of this is an example. And MOFA assisted them technically to um, manage the bushfires, the deforestation, and taught them to check soil erosion, how to make the compost, and how to even include uh, leguminous crops in the cropping system to enrich the soil for better crop production. This they adopted. There was a total environmental change. And as a result, we had a lot of fruit trees coming up, like the shea and dawa dawa. They provided an opportunity for the women to engage in livelihood support activities. Before transformation scenario planning, we used not to sit together as a group, or we used to be in the group but not united as before, and we used not to even make decisions together. Only the leaders will go and have their decision and come and impose onto us. It is a very great change with the transformation scenario planning. I can say that we used not to go to assembly. We were always afraid to approach the assemblies, but now we are able to go to the assembly and lobby for other positions as well as assistance. For example, when this um, planting for food and jobs came, we went there to lobby for fertilizers, even cashew uh, tree seedlings. If we post our, our put in our problems, they looked at it and give us time to come back for the feedback and actually it works. Now we are united as a group. We do contribution to assist each other in the group. So I think it has been a very great change after the transformation scenario planning. Now we even go around from group to group to evaluate the activities that ASTA taught us. I think it, they, they actually came at the right time and it is very helpful to us. So TSP, when it was introduced this way, I was so much interested in it, I was excited. And that actually got me deep into following all the activities before ASA and before TSP. You know, these women, we were working with them mostly individually. And the groups were not formidable. But with what we have learned, from ASA and from the TSP, it means going along with everybody, going together and getting everybody on board at the same time and the planning and implementation of everything should be done, uh, you know, together. And that is a, a, a something I, I, I think it has changed my way of or my approach to development work. For the women, for example, we are uh, encouraging them in most of the livelihood issues. We're not trying to uh, get the women off the, 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 the forest into um, the livelihoods. For example, rearing of uh, small, uh, small uh, ruminants, the soap making that they're doing, the VSLA that they're doing, and all those other livelihood activities that they're doing, it's taking them off the forest. And of course, again with the TSP, I have made them to understand that if you keep to these things and away from the forest, it, that what it means is that you will sustain, you can sustain these livelihoods because your, your soils will be, will, be, will be enriched, your food security can be enhanced and your, of course that will lead to food uh, uh, availability throughout your life and beyond. <laughs>